Hey everybody, it's Makeup Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. Whew, it feels like it's been so long or not as often as I should be recording, but you guys, a lot has been going on, let me tell you. So that's what this video is about, just sort of going over, you know, what's been going on, catch you guys up on everything that's happening with me and why I haven't been filming um, and uploading as often. I am still uploading, guys. I'm not completely gone. I'm still there. I'm straggling, but I'm there. So make sure if you're not getting notifications on anything that I'm posting, go back, you know, unclick the bell, click it again, and make sure you're getting all of my um, upload notifications. I am pretty active still on um, Snapchat and Instagram, and also I'm on TikTok. I don't post a lot on TikTok, to be honest. I'm on there messing around, but I do have TikTok to check all those out. If you guys are, you know, missing me and wondering where I am, I, like I said, Instagram, I'm on there a lot, especially on my stories. I know you guys are probably going to ask about my hair. Uh, it's just the hair wax, guys. I'm just trying to figure out what placement I want to do. I'm going to be coloring my hair and bleaching it. I just haven't decided what color. And I think I have decided on this placement, though. I think I want to go back a little further here. So the perimeter of my hair, really digging it. think it's super cute that way. And I don't have to bleach it, the hail out of all my hair, just the front. You guys all know that I started a new job in the end of last year, like November. I think November was the time I started. And we were going to be working from home. So I figured, oh, you know, I'll have a lot of time to upload. And because I'll be home, I can film more and blah. Y'all, that is not how it happened or how it went. This job has kept me so damn busy. I don't have time to do a lot of stuff when I am home working. And I was working from home for a solid three or four months. And then we got approved to open up our locations. I sort of described what I was doing. I'm in the healthcare field. I'm now in research. I'm in a research study and a particular research study that had been closed down because of COVID, because we do work with patients. Everybody was working from home and I literally only worked from home until about March and then we opened our location. And I'm gonna tell y'all, opening a location for a research project is stress that you do not realize you, that existed. It was very stressful for my entire team, me included, but we got it open, we got everything approved and we're up and running. So now I'm in the hospital probably three to four days a week, sometimes two days a week. It just depends on the schedule we rotate in and out. And in that time, I have gotten my phlebotomy um, certification. So adding certifications to my resume is always a good thing. So I do do blood draws. We take um, blood samples and things like that with this research study. So I was certified in March uh, right after we opened up. So I have been doing that, which I absolutely love. I love working with patients and people. That's my background in um, the medical field. It has been sort of an adjustment trying to figure out, you know, my schedule. And when I'm home on days that I'm working from home, I'm extremely busy with work. So I haven't had a lot of time to sit down and film for you guys. So yeah, I've just been trying to put out what I can put out when I can put it out. And I appreciate your guys' support in the meantime. Same time, the beginning of last year, the beginning of the year, um, I have been having some medical issues. I have been having some issues with my bladder that have caused me to go in and have a couple different procedures to see what's going on. Um, it has still not been decided what's going on. So I'm going to probably start going through another round of different procedures and tests to see what the issue is. Um, yeah, it's not a fun thing. It's not a fun procedures to go through. I still have no answers and that gets pretty painful at times. So there's been a lot of times where on the weekends, um, I've just been calling these flare ups with my bladder. Um, I'm pretty much in bed and just trying to get through the day and not be in so much pain. I'm going to go ahead and get a new urologist, preferably a female urologist, because I feel like this has something to do with my hysterectomy. But the other urologist, not that men urologists aren't good urologists for women. I just feel like they don't, they're not super familiar with hysterectomies and all that type of thing. Those are a whole different situation in regards to urology. And my doctor, although he was a really good doctor, I don't think that he was super familiar with the two and how they combined. And I know because um, in my other department, when I worked at, you know, before I transferred over to the research department, I was his scheduler. I worked that floor, so I know how many females they saw on a regular basis, and they didn't see very many. Maybe one out of every 50 patients was a female. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start the process of trying to get in with a female doctor that's 
in the area. Anyway, I've been dealing with that, not knowing what's going on. You know, you WebMD yourself and freak yourself out and will, you know, try not to look at that, those types of things and make myself nervous. Hopefully I can get that situation taken care of in the next few weeks or months because we have something else that has absolutely been stressing me out. We moved into this house in 2019. I know you guys did like, I did a video with like moving out of my dream home. We moved for one to downsize into a smaller home and also into a rental because we decided that we were, we were playing with the idea of moving to Seattle. I have a Seattle blog that I will put up here. You guys can watch. My husband had never been there. I'm from Washington, the Seattle area. And we were sort of throwing around the idea of moving to Seattle and COVID, COVID hit. So all that was put on the back burner. We're in the rental. We're just staying here, not really thinking about moving. You know, with COVID, you have no idea what's going to happen. And then I got this job opportunity here at the hospital in this department, which is amazing. And that sort of put like a hold on us, like looking into really moving out of the area. Notice about oh, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, um, from the rental company and the owner wants to sell the house. So of course that gives us barely any time to get out and move and find another house. We decided in the market that we're in now, which is absolutely horrible for buyers to buy a house. <laughs> and let me tell you, it has been an absolute nightmare. Buying a house I thought is supposed to be somewhat fun. The looking at the houses, I know it gets really stressful with the other things. But we literally have been out, we were outbid by, I mean, on four houses we were outbid. We were getting down to the nitty gritty because we have until the end of June, we are in the beginning of June, we have till the end of June to, you know, find another place. So the last day, which was Monday, Memorial Day, we were getting ready to contact our realtor the next day and let them know, hey, we're going to have to move on to plan B. We don't have time. We're going to have to just find another little rental for maybe a, a couple months till we find something. Or another option would be to do a build, just rent something and then have something built. And then that way we would, you know, not be stressed about the time crunch and where we were going to be because we have to be out of this house. And Monday, my realtor, I think my husband saw the house and was like, why don't you guys just go ahead and you know, schedule because he had to work. Call the realtor. I'll call the realtor. We'll see if we can get in and see this. So Monday, we were able to go and see the house. It was absolutely amazing. Perfect. Too good to be true. At this point, I am not trying to get attached to anything because we have been outbid on so many other properties. And I was just like, we'll just put a bid on it. We're not going to go up super high. People are also going above and beyond the price of the house or the asking price just to get the house and then going back and it's you know, these houses are selling for thousands of dollars more than what they're worth, basically. So put a, you know, put a um, bid on the house, just a little bit over what they were asking, didn't expect anything. We're looking at rentals that night, talking about uh, what we were going to do. My husband was looking at construction companies or builders to see, you know, what floor plans worked and what kind of, you know, stuff we needed. And then our <laughs> realtor messaged us like at 10 o'clock that night. He said that the sellers accepted our offer. So super excited, but nervous because it's a lot of money. I, I have buyer's remorse after everything that I buy. Uh, we have moved on with the process. The house has gotten its inspection, which has went well. Are getting everything that we wanted that we were looking for. And so, yeah, I'm excited. So hopefully by the end of the month, it'll be done. We can move out on time because this rental company and the realtor for this house that we're in now has been an absolute nightmare to deal with. She has been absolutely just, it's just been ridiculous. They want to show the house while we're still here, even though we have a lease. And legally, they have the right to do that if they set up an appointment, you know, if we can go ahead and come to an agreement. We had over 15 people coming in through the house, walking through the house at all different times that she has set up that we agreed to. I know if they're doing like the rest of the market is where they're hoarding um, bids and trying to get the highest, you know, having basically having bid wars, bidding wars, because they're doing that right now. And it's absolutely hor horrible that people are doing that. And I understand you want to get the most for your for your money for your house. But there comes a point where come on, how long are you going to let this go? 
we put an offer on a house two or three weeks ago. That house is still for sale. They are still taking bids. They are trying to just drive up the price as most they can. I feel like I think that's probably what they're trying to do in this case. Instead of just picking some offers and going through that and being done with it, they have now, this is the house has been on the market now for this is week two or week three. And she has been a nightmare. She wants basically to have me on beck and call whenever realtors want to come and walk through the house. And that's not going to happen. I work from home half the time. We live here. And just to uh, open up the house for people to walk through whenever they want is absolutely um, not going to happen. All I've asked her is to give us a 24-hour notice. She could call me and we could set something up for several days in a row. And she doesn't do that. And she waits till the last minute to have people uh, come in. And I feel like she's just super lazy. And now she's gotten to the point now where she has decided on her own to give these realtors my personal unlisted phone number to call me to set up times for them to come through. What? What? I don't work for you. And I definitely am not going to be scheduling people to come through because she doesn't want to just call me and set up times for, you know, like open houses where the open house is from, you know, noon to four. People can come in and look at the house on these specific days. She, I don't know why she can't do that. It's been a nightmare dealing with her. I literally am not answering the phone for these realtors. I already messaged her and told her that I am not, I don't work for her and I am not setting up appointments for a house that's not mine to sell. And that she needs to do her job. She's threatening to put lock boxes on the house and let people come in whenever they want. And girl, try it. Try it. I hope so. I hope people could try to come in this house. Cause it's going to be hell. But anyway, we only got like two and a half, three weeks left before we are due to be out, before we're due to close on the other house. So let's just pray to 8 pound baby Jesus that this lady sort of just backs off and leaves us alone for a little bit. And lets us just get out of the house so we can, everybody can move on with their life. Anyway, besides that too... We already had a trip planned in um, the beginning or the middle of June to go to Virginia to um, see my dad. My dad's getting married. In the middle of all this, trying to find a house, trying to close on a house, dealing with this realtor and these people trying to walk through the house. We have this trip that was already planned several months ago. I hadn't even thought about this trip. Like literally, uh, my husband said like yesterday, the day before, he was like, when are we going to Virginia? And I was like, the week after next. So I need to make sure that everything's in order. I need to make sure that, the, um, you know, we got where we need to go. Yeah, it's been a stressful month. June has been pretty stressful. But yeah, besides that, I'm still here, guys. I'm going to try to make as much content as possible to push out for you guys, especially in the midst of the move. I don't know how long that's going to take to get internet and things set up. So I'm hoping to go ahead and have some stuff for you guys to watch in the meantime. But everything's good on our sides besides just a few little stressors that I mentioned. Um, everybody is good. Everybody is fairly healthy besides my bladder. She's on another level, but everybody else is good to go. I'm still here. That's it, guys. If you guys have any information on realtors or there, or if you're a realtor and you have some information in regards to my rights, I'm in Texas. Uh, comment below. I'd like to read, you know, what your guys' take is on that. She just, I feel, is like being unreasonable. And at this point, I'm sort of done dealing with it. If you guys have any um, information, comment below. I'd like to read what your guys' take is on that. Let me know what you guys are doing for the summer. You guys have anything planned? Um, any fun trips or anything like that? Comment below. I like reading those because besides this trip for my dad's wedding, we are probably going to be landlocked for a minute. Buying a house is expensive, especially when you have not really prepared to buy the house. It's sort of a last minute. So we definitely are not taking our asses <laughs> anywhere for the rest of the year at least. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any fun things planned. The things starting to open up back up and people can travel. But yeah, it was good talking to you guys. I missed you guys and I will talk to you guys next time.